on the Malvinas Islands. So we hope that the Northern Ireland will continue to give us uh, support. We want to go to that uh, summit uh, as we have attended any or every conference where the, the issue of the Malvinas Islands is uh, discussed. Excuse me, there's a report out of London, sir, that Argentina would surrender this week. Can you comment on that, sir? Um, I don't understand that word, as I have said. That word is not in my dictionary. Is Argentina ready to comply with the resolution final here in the United Nations? Um, I think that uh, Argentina has said very explicitly the 3rd of April that Argentina is ready to comply with 502 and with 505 because Argentina is ready to comply with every resolution of the United Nations and because Argentina thinks that uh, 502 is, uh, should be understood as a whole where the three points should be uh, taken together and declare the, the end of hostilities. The withdrawal of forces and the beginning of negotiation should be or should begin at the same time. So, did you ever think things would come to the state they've reached this week, to this kind of fighting, to this sort of situation on the islands? That's a very difficult uh, question to answer. And how do you feel personally about what's happened there this week? I'm uh, personally, uh, as uh, every human being, I'm very sad because of the loss of lives. When asked about reports that Argentine soldiers fighting on the Falklands might surrender this week, Argentine Foreign Minister Nicanor Costa Mendez told reporters tonight, I don't understand that word. It is not in my dictionary. Costa Mendez said he was disturbed over the great loss of lives and about the fighting on the Falklands, but he refused to speculate about British gains or what might happen in the next few days. Suppose, for instance, that the Malvinas were lost to I think that um, this is a hypothesis I cannot consider. How do you think this crisis can now be resolved with things at this stage? I think that there are, uh, we have put forward our position in the last paper we delivered to the Secretary General, and we uh, are ready to continue discussions under the umbrella of the United Nations and under the guidance of the Secretary General. Is it not too late? Do I don't think it's never too late. Costa Mendes says he will travel to Havana, Cuba on Wednesday for a meeting of the non-aligned nations movement. The purpose of that trip is to muster support for the Argentine position. That support might translate into pro-Argentine votes at the United Nations. Charles Gomez, CBS News, Buenos Aires.
charging the British are nuclear aggressors. Argentina claims to have no designs to acquire the bomb. During ceremonies commemorating the 32nd anniversary of Argentina's Nuclear Power Commission, its chairman, Dr. Carlos Castro Mendero, accused the British of holding the advantage of nuclear weapons in the South Atlantic. Dr. Castro Mendero, a former admiral in the Argentine Navy, considered the Brits' nuclear submarines a weapon and did not intend to imply the British fleet was carrying nuclear armaments. In his speech, Castro Mendero defended Argentina's decision not to sign the Nuclear Proliferation Treaty, pointing out that while Great Britain is a signatory, it has chosen to rely on nuclear energy in its battle over the Malvinas, its nuclear subs. He claims the Non-Proliferation Treaty is discriminatory and offers no guarantees against the use of nuclear weapons by the world's superpowers. Argentina was the first Latin American nation to develop nuclear power. And in an interview with CNN, Dr. Castro Mendero claimed his country has the knowledge and materials to build the bomb. But he said nuclear weapons in Latin America would create more problems than they would solve. Dr. Castro Mendero said the bomb would create an atmosphere of tension and suspicion in the hemisphere that would result in a deterioration of relations with other Latin American nations. Dr. Castro Mendero stressed the peaceful development of nuclear energy. Being a rear admiral retired, he recognizes full well the devastating potential of nuclear weapons. But if the Argentine military should feel outgunned in this conflict with the British, his real job may just be beginning. James Allen Miklaszewski, CNN, at the Ecesa nuclear power plant in Buenos Aires. with other Latin American nations. Dr. Castro Madero stressed the peaceful development of nuclear energy. Being a rear admiral retired, he recognizes full well the devastating potential of nuclear weapons. But if the Argentine military should feel outgunned in this conflict with the British, his real job may just be beginning. James Allen Miklaszewski, CNN at the Ecesa nuclear power plant in Buenos Aires.
cause of peace through negotiation, not for the cause of peace through bloody battles. What's the best way to settle this now, sir? Suppose, for instance, that the Malvinas were lost to Argentina. I think that um, this is a hypothesis I cannot consider. How do you think this crisis can now be resolved with things at this stage? I think that there are, uh, we have put forward our position in the last paper we delivered to the Secretary General, and we uh, are ready to continue discussions under the umbrella of the United Nations and under the guidance of the Secretary General. And how do you feel personally about what's happened there this week? I'm uh, personally, uh, as uh, every human being, I'm very sad because of the loss of lives. Very sad. In, um, I've seen in an action uh, by Britain, which I cannot really uh, understand and which obviously I cannot justify. Yeah, I'm